Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for my head shave now. I've been to work today, I did my face shave this morning. I'm going to do my head shave now. I'm going to stick with the Elvaro Royal Tahitian Lime Shaving Cream and the Elvaro Post Shave After Shave Tonic. And I'm going to be using my Tony Forsyth Commission Brush, another Cut Above, that Daniel Scrass has scraped. It is now on its way to him over in the UK as part of my giveaway win, along with a tub of Squadron Silk. So let's get some water in the bowl. And all I've done is I've taken some of the cream, popped it into my Saponificio Baracino Shaving Grail Bowl. I'm going to whip it straight up from the bowl. Just dip the tips, oh, not the tips, dip the whole brush in, flick out most of the water, and then straight in. I think I have lathered this, bowl lathered this brush once. Oh, the scent of this cream is beautiful. Right, so as we can see, all the cream's pretty much gone out there. It's now all on the brush. Instead of loading it on my head, I'm just going to re-wet the tips. And then I put it back in the bowl again and whip up a nice lather in the bowl. But hopefully whip up a nice lather. Now the scent on this is super. It's a, it does say Royal Tahitian Lime, but to me you just get a, you get the lime, the lime's the most predominant scent. You just get a real citrus burst from it and it smells beautiful. There is something else going on in there. I can't remember what it is, but I can smell something else as well. Almost like a sort of woody scent, but it smells beautiful. A lot of backbone in these tuxedo knots, so you can really dig it into the bowl and give it a good, real good squish about. And it loves it. Starting to get there now, not too far away, I'm just going to dip the tips again, add a little bit more water. I do add more cream than is required for the simple fact of it's more annoying to get to the end of creating a lather and not have enough than it is to have far too much. So I'd rather just have far too much. Right, I think I'm pretty much there. Yeah, look at that. Superb. The scent's beautiful. Scent strength's probably, I don't know, probably around about a five and a half to six once it's lathered. It's more like a four out of the tub. Looks like that in the tub. Now I've used this three times and I've used quite a bit of it as you can see there. You probably can't see because of the light. There's quite a good dent in that now from where I've used it. Like I say, I don't really care too much about using more product than less. I'd rather just get it used and, and get a good lather from it. Okay, so let's wet the head. I'm just going to dry that off first and then re wet it again. I've been working today, so I had a bit of a sweat on. so. That's the first thing I've actually wet my head today on the pure water. And as you can see, the brush is well loaded. Let's get stuck in. Now this is always a test for me for scents. When I, if I can smell them when I'm lathering my head. And I can smell this, so there's obviously enough scent in this, enough scent strength for it to be enjoyable. I'm never too afraid to add water to these artisan products because they do tend to deal with copious amounts of water quite well. Right, Mueller R41 today, the Mueller R41 twist, and I'm going with my second and last blade at the moment of the Kai blades. I'm just going to use this solely for head shears until it goes blunt and see how many head shears I can get out of it in a row. 
just to make sure that my last blade wasn't a jinx. So here we go with the grain. Now one thing I noticed with the Alvaro, it's obviously the makeup of it, it's not, it's not an oily cream, so if you're cold water shaving, it rinses out of your razor instantly, it just dissipates in the water which is great, but you still get some great slickness from it, there's no issues with slickness whatsoever. And one thing I love about this R41 is it's just got a great balance of weight. It's not a heavy handle, it's a very light handle in my, well not light, but it's, it's not a heavy handle by any means. So I don't feel like I'm ever putting too much pressure on with it. I'm not going to be turning around to show the back of my head today because I want to try and keep an eye on it in the mirror. I did it on my last shave, so if you want to have a look at that one, by all means, if you haven't seen it before. I do understand that some people like to see the back, but you can probably see in the back in the mirror over there most of the shave anyway, from the back. All right, in fairness, you probably need to blow it up on a 70 inch screen to be able to see it. so far. The blade's superb <laughs> as it was the first time around with the first blade that I used. That's one thing I just want to point out with this shaving cream. You get a cracking lather from it. It's as good as any soap I've used, if I'm honest. In fact, I would probably say it's even slightly, ever so slightly better lather-wise than the Castle Forbes. Which, if you've used Castle Forbes before, you'll know that's a superb, a superb cream. Very similar in scent strength and scent style as well. I know that Castle Forbes is just 100% essential oil of lime. In terms of quality, this is the closest you get, I reckon. From my own personal experience anyway, of creams. I've not had the best the best of um, times with creams. The only other cream that I would highly recommend to anyone would be the Omega cream, which is super, and the, the CO Bigelow which is the, I believe, the Parasso put in a tube, is the other one, which I haven't used, but I hear that it's pretty much the same thing as the Amiga cream, if not the same thing. So, it's got a great kick of menthol in it, and it works really well. Number two. Just go back to the bowl a little bit, get a little bit more on it. Let's see, once you get that first pass done, especially my head, I can never see me keep the volume in the ladder. It's not that you really need it then because you've knocked all the hair down. 
All you need then is the slickness, just to get the, the final bits done. But this is still plenty thick. And it smells superb. Okay, Mule R41, Kai Blade against the grain. No, I can tell you right now, I'm being very quiet there because I've just been sort of concentrating, but there's not much left on there. And in terms of irritation, I've got literally none. I've got no stinging, nothing at all. And I don't know if that's down to the cream because I didn't have any, any irritation today when I did my face shave either. The cream does seem very, very protective when you're shaving with it. Right, let's get the rest of it on it. For the pickups right
those two right there the two spots that I've had on my head for the past couple of weeks they've been really hurting, still hurting just now even though I've just nicked them which hasn't helped <laughs> I think they've been due to get nicked though. So as with the face shave, this stuff does not have the best residual slickness. It's got good residual slickness, but not great. So it's not something I could recommend really for a head shaver unless you're pretty careful because right now I'm going over these same spots but there's not a great deal of slickness there is some but I'm mainly relying on the water Right, that feels super. Oh. I've got no idea at the moment whether I've got any. No, there's no blood on it. Let us see the protection with this cream when you're actually shaving is really good. It gives a great cushion, great protection, good slickness. Just doesn't have the best residual slickness. And I found the same when I was doing my face shave. Post shave feel feels great. There's a lot of moisture still in there. It's not feeling dry or anything like that. There's a lot of good tacky moisture actually on the skin still. So let's finish off with Humphrey's Citrus, which is a very nice witch hazel. Smells great. It's probably my favorite scent out of all the Humphreys. Black a bit more on the face since we had the shave this morning, but very, very close shave. It's BBS all over, actually, it's not very close, it's as close as I can get without taking skin off. Superb, right? So, the soap for today, or the cream, was the Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime Shaving Cream. Smells superb, works really well. Let's say that. If you're someone that needs residual slickness, you actually need it and it's part of your routine that it's required. If you go against the grain a lot, a lot of people need it for against the grain parties. Probably not the best for you, if I'm honest. It's not got the greatest residual. But if, like me, you get away with it and you just do your shaves with the cream on your face or on your head and you don't mind having it, you're just losing that little bit of residual slickness, then it's, then it's worth it. It's a great soap, great cream, and it smells superb, does a great job. You can't really shoot it down at all. Other than that, that's the only downside to this, this cream, in my opinion. Using the Tony Forsyth Custom Phantom Nebula is the colour. As you can see there. Oh, I love it. I love how these synthetics just take the scent off. Absolutely brilliant. The razor for today was the Mueller R41 Twist, which is a two piece razor. And I don't know if I showed you guys this blade yet. But that's how the blade looks. It's just a plain blade. There's nothing written on it. You can feel it when you take it out of the packet that it is a lot thicker. Well, maybe not, well, not a lot thicker, but it's definitely thicker than any other blade that I've used. Much thicker than a feather blade, much thicker than the Persona Lab Blues, the Vosco. It is a thick, thick blade. But obviously, the edge on that blade, the way it's set, the bevel of the blade, makes the difference to the cut and how long that blade edge lasts. Right, and then moved on with Humphrey's Citrus. And the lather was whipped up in the Saponificio Varacino Shaving Grail Bowl, the Holy Grail of Shaving Bowls, in my opinion. And now we're going to finish off with the Alvaro Shaving Tonic Royal Tahitian Lime Alcohol, oh, alcohol free 
Now, I was blown away by this today because the post shave feel I got from this at work today was superb. And as you can see, my skin looks great, it feels great. Lovely moisture. So, I'm going to get a good splash of this to cover the head and probably a bit of my face as well. Now, there's definitely a bit of mint or something in this. Oh, it smells phenomenal. 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 Absolutely brilliant. Doesn't taste very good, but smells superb. And it lingers a little bit. You probably get you probably get about 30 minutes of that menthol -y feel. I, th I think it's peppermint or something, or a mint that's in here. There's something in there that gives a beautiful menthol feel. And then the scent's there for, I'd probably say about half an hour to an hour. It doesn't last very long, but you can still smell it. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It goes really well with that citrus witch hazel and obviously it goes well with the rotation lime shaving cream because it's the same scent. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.